Good morning, Children's Church. We are going to finish up our lesson. Um, this, this week will be the last week for our missionary story, and we'll finally get to finish what happens in the life of Elaine. Um, where we left off last week, Elaine um, had really started to grow a relationship with Felipe, and she loved the relationship that they had, and she had accepted Jesus Christ as her Savior, and she really started to find joy. And where our lesson picks up this week, it is summertime, just like it is now, and it was toward the end of summer, and they had planned a great big camping trip. And the kids had been saving up money, and they were allowed to go into town on their own and buy some of the things that they wanted to take camping. And they were very excited. So they went to town and they bought um, what they needed for their camping trip. But they had saved just a little bit extra money to buy some ice cream from the ice cream stand. So they went and they each picked out the kind that they want and they started eating their ice cream and it was so good. And all of a sudden Elaine looked up and she could not believe her eyes. She tapped Peter on the arm to get his attention and Peter dropped his ice cream all over the ground. And Peter said, oh, my ice cream. And Elaine said, don't worry about your ice cream, Peter. Look. And Peter looked up and Elaine said, do you see that man standing there? That is the robber. That is the burglar. He's the one that broke into Felipe's house. And um, Peter said, oh no. And he said, let's, and the, the man looked up and um, Elaine said, I'm gonna hide so he doesn't see me. But it was too late and the man looked up and he saw Elaine and he took off running. He knew that Elaine knew exactly who he was. He took off running. And Peter and um, Elaine said, let's go after him. So they started chasing after this man. Well, before they knew it, <clears throat> a traffic officer stopped them and said, Whoa, whoa, guys, why are you guys running through this busy traffic like this? This is dangerous. And they said, That man over there that's running, he's a burglar. Go get him. Chase after him. And the police officer said, Guys, I can't leave my post. I'm directing traffic here. They said, You need to go to the police station and, and tell them. Oh, Peter thought, You know, by the time we get there, the man will be long gone and, you know, people don't take kids seriously. It's no use. So that was that. The man was gone and they ended up going on their um, camping trip and it was so exciting. They had such a good time camping. Everybody loves camping. How many of you guys like to camp? It's so much fun staying in tents and cooking your food over a fire and exploring the woods. And so they went on the camping trip and um, they, were, they were having such a good time. And um, Peter, he, he had decided he wanted to explore the woods. So he brought a compass and a map and he thought, you know what? I want to go exploring the land. So they decided to do that. They woke up and they went exploring the land. And while they were exploring the land, um, Elaine ended up tripping and she fell. And when she fell, she um, hurt her leg so bad. She had so much pain in her leg. And then as she tried to get up, the land, the ground where she was laying on, it gave way and she fell down into this ravine. So she lay there and she was in so much pain and she was screaming for help, 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 help. And nobody could hear her. And then all of a sudden she looks up and do you know who she sees standing above her? The man, the robber. He was hiding out in the woods and he was there. And he says, what are you doing down there, girl? Get up here. And she says, I can't. I hurt my leg. And Elaine was so scared. What is he going to do? Um, but he noticed she was hurt and he changed his, uh, his voice. He said, oh, he calmed down and started to be a little bit more gentle. He said, oh, no, you're hurt. I'll help you. And he, he said, you don't need to be afraid of me. I'm only going to help you. And he climbed down into the ravine and he picked up Elaine and 
he carried Elaine to the house and he helped her leg and he realized that she was in she was in pretty rough shape well Mr. Owens came and knew who the man was um, because Peter told him and um, he, he talked to the man and he said you know I, I'm really thankful that you helped Elaine he said but you know the police are gonna find you eventually why don't you go turn yourself in J you know tell turn yourself in suffer the you know face the consequences that ha you have for you I'll even stand before the judge and I'll tell him how nice you were to Elaine and how you helped her I'll, I'll stand with you the whole time and um, the man put his hands in his um, his head in his hands and he knew he couldn't run forever he was tired he knew that he had done wrong when he robbed the house and that he needed to, uh, to, to face the consequences of what he had done. Um, and so he decided to go with Mr. Owens. Uh, Mr. Owens took Elaine to the hospital and got her settled there. And he took Mr. Um, Owens to the police station. And Mr. O or not, he took this burglar to the police station and he turned himself in. And um, Elaine was a very sick little girl. Not only had she broken her leg, but she had developed pneumonia from being out in the damp, um, wet woods. And so she was in the hospital very sick for a while. And when she woke up finally, um, sitting before her was her mother. And she was so excited to see her mother. She hadn't seen her mother in such a long time. But that excitement quickly changed when Elaine started to realize, oh, I'm probably gonna have to go back with my mom um, and not live with the Owens family anymore out in the country to explore. And she started to feel sad. Then she started to feel bad. Oh, but this is my mom. I shouldn't feel sad or bad about living with my mom. So she wasn't sure. She loved the Owens and she, she loved the joy that she had there and she didn't want to lose that joy. So she um, finally was able to leave the hospital and she went back to the Owens house and when she got there they had a great big welcome home sign for her and they celebrated and Elaine was so happy. Um, but in her heart, she knew that she was going to have to go live with her mom, and she just wasn't sure about that. And she didn't want to lose her joy, and her joy came when she was with the Owens family and out in the country. And, you know, Mr. Owens um, sat and had a, a big, long talk with Elaine, and he said, you know what, Elaine, God has a, a path for you. And you need to, to live that path and God's path was for you to come live with us and just think when you came to live with us you got to accept Jesus as your Savior and learn about God and be a blessing to Felipe and now we were able to help this robber and um, he said when the robber gets out of jail I've been visiting him several times when he gets out of jail I have a job lined up for him and so we were able to help him and all this came because you were with us and um, Elaine learned that fullness of joy, the true meaning of fullness of joy, is following the path that God has for you and walking hand in hand with Him the whole way. I can do, I can be where God wants me to be. God wants me to be here at um, Fellowship. I'm Pastor Mike's wife and I work in a Sunday school class and I teach children's church and I sing in the choir and I can do all the things that God's called me to do. But if I don't do all of them hand in hand with Jesus, I'm not going to be happy. If I do all this stuff because I have to, um, I'm not going to be happy. But joy comes when you're walking the path that God has for you and doing it holding Christ's hand the whole way. And Elaine knew that if she was going to, that she could easily find this same joy living in the big city with her mom because you know what her mom her mom hadn't found joy yet her mom was unsaved and now Elaine thought now I get to go be with my mom who I love so much and I get to share with her what Jesus did for her and she can find the true fullness of joy well that is all for our lesson this is a great reminder um, what joy truly means 
And I hope that you have found fullness of joy. I hope that you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior. And I hope that you are striving to walk daily with Him, holding His hand the whole way. And that is how we can have true fullness of joy. And I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I don't know um, when we'll get to actually meet face-to-face -face for Children's Church, but I'm really, really looking forward to that day when that finally happens. I love you kids, and I will see you next time.